So here is the first grocery haul for the month of May. I went to Vons and I ended up picking up just the items off their front flyer plus one little extra. Um, so I'll go ahead and share with you what the deals are. Um, first, um, I did pick up a uh, was a container of apple juice. I had one reward available, so I was able to get the apple juice completely free. And it's perfect because these kids um, do drink apple juice, so if I can get it for free, why not? They also had on the front flyer their creamy peanut butter on sale for $1.83, a limit of four. I picked up four. Um, we've been eating peanut butter a little bit more, so I'm hoping that this is gonna be good. These are good till October, so we have plenty of months to eat those. Um, and the ones that I have in the pantry already are actually good until December of next, or this year. So I'll start using these ones first since the date's first. The other thing that was on sale was strawberries. There was no limit on strawberries. These were $1.83 as well. So I picked up two. These smell really good. So I can't wait for that, especially since it's strawberry season. I'm excited to eat a lot more of the berries. Another item that was on the $1.83 sale that they had um, was the Sargento cheese. It was the shredded block or slices, and it was a limit of six. So I picked up six sliced cheeses. Um, I like that these are the name brand and not just the um, Vons brand. So I thought that was a really good deal. I got two of the provolone to make for some dinners. I also got two more of the pepper jack that I'm gonna stick in the freezer for my husband's lunches. And then I also got him a Kobe pepper jack to try. So that will also go in the freezer. And then I got a Kobe jack for some burgers um, probably in the month. So I'm really happy with those. So I got the limit as well. And then um, they had, I ended up just getting just a, um, container of Oreos just because we were out of Oreos and this is my son's favorite cookie right now so I definitely have to have Oreos on hand plus the whole family loves them so this was $4.99 and then they had a uh, on the front page and on the second page they had um, a section of items that were 50 cents each a limit of 24 so you were able to mix and match but you can get 24 items total and I ended up doing three items I did forget um, to pull out the broccoli. So I did get four bags of bro frozen broccoli. So I'll show those like after in the next clip. So I got four of the frozen broccolis. I also got um, eight boxes of pasta. I got two of the thin spaghetti, two of the penne regatta, uh, regatta, and then two of the rotini, and then two of the rainbow rotini. So I got eight of those. Again, those were all 50 cents. The broccolis were 50 cents. And then the beans were 50 cents as well. And I had just finished all my pinto beans. Um, so I picked up eight of the pinto beans and then four of the dark red kidney beans. I use these mainly for chilies. Otherwise, I have dry beans that I use for other things. But I just like the convenience of when I'm doing a chili. I have these. And then normally for a batch of chili, I go through four of the pinto beans and two kidney beans. So this will get me to... Um, batches of chili so I needed to restock that up and again those were all 50 cents each as well so for the pin the beans the pasta and the four bags of broccoli that was $12 total for all of those and it was 24 items so I was really happy about that definitely stocked for a while and then the number one reason I really wanted to go to Vaughn's was for their ground beef Again, they had the ground beef on their flyer for $1.83 each, a pound each. So it was a limit of 10 pounds. I did get 12 pounds. So I think that's kind of where my numbers went up a little bit higher. Um, I got 12 pounds of ground beef and it came out to $28.43, I believe. Um, so yeah, so I got all this ground beef. It'll be for 12 different dinners because I'll separate them into one pound packages and I think with um after calculating what all the meat added up to it was about $63 worth of meat and I paid $28 so really glad about that um and yeah so my total at Vons was $67.43 for everything including the beef so here is those four bags of frozen broccoli that I said that were part of that deal as well that I forgot to show you. And they are 12 ounce bags, so it's a good size bag. And 
our kids eat broccoli um that's kind of their main vegetable that they'll eat right now which i'm okay with that so when i saw that these were part of the deal i definitely wanted to get a, a few bags of these as well so these are the four frozen broccoli so i also did a small walmart haul to get everything else that i needed i just needed produce this week um i did end up getting four gallons of milk i left one at work um that way the kids have a gallon there milk was 360 a gallon i also got a package of sweet pepper or yeah the mini sweet peppers those were 324 i got some red um seedless oh they gave me seeds so we'll have to see how that's gonna go i asked for seedless grapes um and they gave and those were 439 um so yeah so i'll have to figure those out for the kids <laughs> to be a little more tedious but it's fine i'll make it work um cuties were 398 i got a cantaloupe for 298 i also got some string cheese because we were out for the kids that was 298 um i got uh five cucumbers i asked for three but they gave me five but they still only charged me the two dollars and four cents so that's good I also got some blackberries for $2.12 and some blueberries for $2.97. And then the one thing that I needed that I have not had in a while were toothpicks. And I got that for $1.67. So everything here plus the other gallon of milk came out to $41.32. So here is what a quick rundown of what my meal ideas for the month of May look like. If you want to go ahead and pause the video to just um, look at it better. But for my first week of May, I spent $108.75 with both the Vons and Walmart orders for today. So I am very happy with that, um, starting the month off well. I do know this month is going to need a few toiletries and stuff, so I'll take you along when I am, end up going to the stores for that stuff. Um, so yeah, so these are what the meals are looking for, what I'm going to be um, needing items for. A lot of it I do already have in the freezer, um, meat-wise and stuff, so I'm kind of just working on sales and then just fresh produce and then milk and snacks for the kids pretty much. Um, so yeah, so $108.75 for this week's um, groceries.